Now we'll talk about the third lecture of acid bases and salts, and uh, this is uh, reaction number three. Now, uh, when you're talking about this reaction, this reaction is uh, it's uh, whenever a metal carbonate and remember one thing: metal carbonates are salts because. Uh, they are derived from H2CO3 where the H is replaced by a metal so a metal carbonate is formed whenever that reacts with an acid another salt is produced plus there's a water molecule which is produced and a CO2 molecule produced so remember this uh, whenever a metal carbonate reacts with an acid it's, it's going to produce a salt a water molecule and a CO2 molecule and let's uh, do an example for such a reaction. For example, if you have uh, magnesium carbonate. Now, carbonate had a charge of minus three, minus two, and Mg had, is in group two, so it, it has a charge of plus two. So it's reacting with H2SO4, and it's going to produce. Uh, this is going to produce a salt. The salt is going to be, it's going to have SO4 minus 2 in it and the H is going to be replaced by the cation which is Mg in this case. So it's going to be Mg plus 2 SO4 minus 2 so the charges cancel out it's Mg SO4 plus there's going to be a water molecule produced and a CO2 molecule produced and if you uh, see if it's balanced or not uh, all the atoms and atoms are balanced in this equation so this is the balance equation now we're going to move on and do another question for example if you have sodium carbonate sodium carbonate it would be sodium which is plus one and carbonate which is minus two so there should be there should be two sodium carbonates in this molecule so the charges should cancel out because two sodiums are going to have a charge of plus two so it's Na2CO3 and let's react it with HCl hydrochloric acid in this case uh, Cl minus one. Uh, the H over here, the salt is going to be the H is going to be replaced by the cation, which is sodium over here. So it's going to be Na plus one, and the charges are going to cancel out. Plus, it's going to be H2O and give you a CO2 molecule. And we need to balance it, so there should be two NaCl because there are two Na over here, and there should be two HCl because there are two Cl's over here. So uh, the rest of the equation looks balanced. Similarly, let's say if we have HC, if we have uh, calcium carbonate, calcium had a charge of plus two and carbonate had a charge of minus two, so the charges are cancelled out, and it's reacting with a phosphoric acid. So in this case, the product is going to be cal uh, H in the acid. The salt is going to be the H is going to be replaced by the metal cation, which is uh, calcium in this case so it's going to be phosphate and I need to balance the charges so there should be three calciums and there should be two phosphates to balance out the charges because three calciums are going to have a charge of plus two and two phosphates are going to have a charge of minus three one easy way to balance uh, charges is just to bring the three over here the charge over here over here and two over here that's that's a simple technique for balancing the charges. So this uh, is going to give you Ca3PO4 bracket 2 plus there's going to be a water molecule and a CO2 molecule. So uh, I will rewrite this equation all over again. So it's going to be plus H3PO4 which is going to give me Ca3PO4 2 plus H2O and CO2 and I need to balance everything this should be 2 this should be 3 that would give me 3 carbon dioxides and I need to balance uh, the hydrogens in this case which is going to be it's going to be 3 H2O's let's see if the oxygens are balanced uh, they are 8 over here and there are there are 8 over there so that's balanced and there are 9 over here so there are 3 over here and 6 over here uh, so the oxygens are balanced as well. So this is a balanced equation. Let's uh, go for another reaction. Let's uh, think of another carbonate. For example, uh, we could have ammonium carbonate as well. Now, if you have ammonium carbonate, uh, 
ammonium had a charge of plus one, so it's going to be ammonium is going to be plus one and CO3 is minus two. So if this let's say if this reacts with HCl, let's make it HCl, it's going to produce a salt, which in this case is going to be it's going to be replaced, the H is going to be replaced by the cation, which is NH4 plus 1. So it's going to be NH4Cl plus there's going to be H2O and there's going to be a CO2 molecule. There should be two NH4Cl because there are two ammonium ions over here. And there would be one carbon dioxide and there's going to be uh, there's going to be two HCl. So this equation looks balanced now. And uh, we're going to go through a few more examples let's uh, t bring in organic acids so if you have an organic acid so this would be interesting let's take the example of an organic acid it's going to be this is going to be organic acids it's going to be let's take uh, the simplest one first it's MgCO3 reacting with let's say CH3 COH and remember this is the acid the H at the end is going to be replaced so it's going to be CH3 CO minus 1 and that H is going to be replaced by Mg which is plus 2 so there should be two of these so it's going to be CH3 CO bracket 2 and Mg plus there's going to be a water molecule and a CO2 Molecule, we need to balance this so there should be two CHTCOH, and this looks balanced now. We'll move on to reaction for uh, relating acids, bases, and salts. Uh, in this reaction, reaction four. Now, in this reaction, you have an ammonium salt. So an ammonium salt is basically it's uh, it's NH4 plus one is the ammonium ion and uh, if it's a salt then this ion is the one that is basically replacing the H in an acid. So uh, any acid with the H replaced with the ammonium that's an ammonium salt. So if an ammonium salt reacts with a base, then it's going to produce another salt, a water molecule and ammonia gas will be given off so NH3 gas is going to be produced in this case so uh, let's do a few examples let's uh, let's consider one ammonium salt uh, for example NH4 plus one this is plus one and Cl uh, HCl uh, it's going to be NH4Cl that's an ammonium salt and if I'm going to react it with let's say NaOH it's going to produce a salt and in this case the salt is going to be the Cl and uh, the NH4 is going to be replaced by the by the sodium cation coming from the base so it's going to be NaCl plus it's going to produce a water molecule and it's going to produce NH3 gas so this is one example of this reaction similarly if you have ammonium sulfate which is which is going to be NH4 and it's uh, plus one SO4 is uh, minus two so there should be two ammoniums in this one to balance out the charges. So if it reacts with, uh, let's say, uh, let's say it reacts with MgO, it's another metal oxide which is a base. So, so it's going to react with this. It's going to produce, uh, in this case, uh, instead of ammonium, uh, the salt is going to contain Mg. So it's going to be MgSO4 and a water molecule is going to be produced plus ammonia gas will be given off similarly if you have uh, let's uh, uh, a further example if we have let's say let's say we have fe 2o3 and we have uh, ammonium nitrate and and that's an ammonium salt so if you have ammonium plus one no3 minus one so the charges are balanced uh, So this is the third reaction, and the product in this case is going to be it's going to be uh, the charge on iron in this one is uh, plus three. So it's going to be FeNO3 
that's the salt that's going to be produced. Ammonium is going to be replaced by iron. And uh, what else is going to be produced? It's, uh, water molecule is going to be produced and uh, ammonia gas will be given off. I need to balance everything so there should be three ammonium nitrates. That would give you three ammonia molecules and you, you're going to have uh, how many? There are nine oxygens over here. There are nine, nine oxygens over here. This should be three H2O. We need uh, how many? Four into three. That's uh, 12 hydrogens and this is going to be three into three, nine hydrogens. So we just need three hydrogens. This is going to be 1.5 oxygen molecules or 3 over 2. Let's hope this is uh, balanced now. There are 9 oxygens and there are 3 over here. There are 12 oxygens. And if we look, oh, there's a, uh, this equation is still not balanced. Let's uh, try and balance this again. Uh, let me rewrite the whole equation first. It's going to be NH4 NO3 plus Fe2O3. It's going to produce uh, FeNO3 plus H2O plus ammonia. And when we are balancing, there are two ions over here, so there should be two FeNO3s. That makes six nitrates, so there should be six nitrates over here. That will give you six ammonia molecules. Now we need to balance uh, oxygen in this uh, equation. So when we try to balance oxygen, there's six threes, eighteen plus three twenty one. There are nine over here, and we need uh, we need twelve more. So there are how many hydrogens over here? Let's uh, try and balance the hydrogens as well. There are six into four, twenty four hydrogens. There are six into three, eighteen hydrogens. So 18 I would need six hydrogens that would give me that would give three H2O so this is a balanced equation now uh, hopefully this is a balanced equation there are three into three nine twos are 18 18 and three twenty one oxygen so everything is balanced now let's uh, take another example of a reaction where uh, let's take the example of ammonium phosphate which is going to be NH4 is plus one phosphate is minus 3 so this is again an ammonium salt there should be three ammonium ions plus let's say calcium hydroxide now the salt that is going to be produced in this case is going to be uh, PO4 minus 3 and ammonium is going to be replaced by calcium so it's going to be calcium plus 2 there should be two calciums and there should be there should be three calciums and two phosphates to balance out the charges plus there's going to be H2O and ammonia gas will be given off. Let me rewrite the whole reaction for you. It's going to be NH4 bracket 3 PO4 plus you're going to have calcium hydroxide and you would need uh, it's going to produce calcium phosphate plus it's going to produce H2O and NH3 and we need to balance everything now there are three calcium over there should be three calcium there are two phosphates there should be two phosphates that would make six ammonia so there should be six ammonia and the last thing we need to do is we need to balance hydrogen and oxygen so there are how many two into three that's uh, that's going to be six hydrogens over here and there are three into four that's 12, 24, there are 30 hydrogen on this side and there are 6 into 3, 6 into 3, that's uh, 18 hydrogen. So I need uh, 12 more. I hope the oxygen are balanced now. 4 into 2 is 8, 2 into 3 is 6, so 8 plus 6 is 14. You have 4 into 2, 8 and 6, 14, so everything is balanced now. So this was our fourth reaction where you have a ammonium salt reacting with the base and it's going to produce another salt, H2O and NH3. The important thing to remember is how do you form this other salt? This other salt is going to be, because this is a salt, it's basically, if you, if you imagine this as HCl and you replace H by ammonium, that's an ammonium salt. But if you replace ammonium by 
Na, and that's going to be NaCl or a sodium salt. So this is sodium chloride. So this is how you're going to form the salt. This is a slightly different, uh, a slightly more complicated re reaction. A lot of questions come on this. Remember one thing. Uh, in this reaction, one way to identify this reaction is ammonia gas is given off. And the test for detecting ammonia is uh, it. Uh, the test for detecting ammonia is that damp red litmus paper. Since ammonia is basic, is going to turn blue.